Hello, hi guys, hi there, how are all of you? Well, my name is Yusuf and I'm back. And I'm back on Yusuf Reacts. And this time I'm back with a very interesting movie review for you people. Well guys, the movie review that I'm going to be giving to you people for today is going to be something that literally had a huge amount of, I would say, um, excitement, anticipation, curiosity in the minds of the people when the first part of this movie came out. I'm talking about none other than Wonder Woman. Now the character of Wonder Woman is uh, currently being portrayed by an individual or a lady who has really lived up to the expectations of everyone. I am talking about none other than Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot has been that particular individual who has literally brought this character into life. Now the first part of uh, Gal Gadot's movie known as The Wonder Woman was a movie that literally had a lot of people develop a lot of expectations from this particular movie up. But eventually the thing which happened is what? The eventually the thing which happened over here is this that the second part of this movie known as Wonder Woman 84 is a bit shift in the particular character of that particular lady Diana and the storyline of this particular movie is something that was unable to grab the attention of the audience to that extent which the first sequel or the first part had done. The movie revolves around what? We see the back story of uh, Diana, the princess of Amazon and uh, we see how literally she as a child evolves and how she grew up and stuff like that. But now the main thing is this that now Gal Gadot, you know, aka Wonder Woman has now started living in the city. Now because of the fact she has left her uh, like house or the place where she used to live known as Amazon, the island of Amazon, because of the fact her mother is the queen and she's the princess. So she used to live over there but after moving along with the love of her life, now the thing is what that she has lost her, the love of her life in the first part. Now we see this thing up that Wonder Woman is having each and everything in her life. She has a very good career that's going on. She's saving people all the way around. But the thing or the problem that she's eventually facing is what that she's missing her love interest extremely badly. And this is the main point or the main theme of the particular film. Then we see an other antagonist, uh, the villain of this movie, that's also someone who literally is not able to live up to the expectations of the people. Means there was a lot expected from him. Now he's also someone who is suffering from crisis because of the fact he had invested his money in uh, you know, buying the wells where he considered there's going to be oil but eventually he could not find that thing up and that is where his company is also going bankrupt and stuff like that. Now the thing that is there is of a particular rock, an ancient rock which has magical powers and uh, they, we come to know about it that this rock had become a cause of you know destruction of a lot of dynasties, civilizations because this rock provides you with the greatest wish that you have but in return it takes from you the most important thing that you possess or the thing that you love the most it provides you and it takes something from you from over here we see wonder woman being wishing or wishes for the love of her life to be back in her life and eventually we see that thing happening in this movie we see the arrival of cheetah and uh, cheetah refers to uh, in comic sense or in the cartoonic form if we see cheetah that is a very dominant villain as far as Wonder Woman is concerned and over here also the character of Cheetah has been personified in a very good manner. Eventually what happens Wonder Woman eventually has the love of her life but on one condition and the condition is what that she has to lose her powers if we want to retain that particular guy. Now eventually what happens, this is how the story revolves around and then we go on with it. Eventually we see this thing up that Wonder Woman has to take the tough decision of letting her love go again for the second time. And this is something that she literally cannot bear. But that's what the story revolves around. 
So this is what the story was all about but I would again say the same thing that it was unable to grab the attention of the audience to the extent to which people were expecting from the first sequence of it because the first sequence eventually saw the world war in it and how the people literally got affected with it. We saw a lot of touchy things in the first part but the second part just could not live up to the expectations anyhow Gal Gadot has really done a fantastic job and people are expecting the third part of Wonder Woman so let's see if anything comes up I'll literally be updating you people about that thank you very much for your time take care guys bye